I don't know if any of you invested in Doge, Dogecoin, but if you did, oh, happy day. Oh my goodness, it has arrived. <laughs> My friend Nelly, also known as Nelly the Great, is a phenomenal artist. She's a painter. She tends to paint portraits of black women just living fabulous lives. <laughs> and, and I love it. And, you know, not just painting. She also creates things like buttons and shirts, journals. She's got like a whole array of items. But, you know, as I mentioned, you know, I've always been a fan of her work. And she had a sale recently. And I decided, you know what, I'm going to support, I'm going to pick up one of her paintings. Now, as I said, she's been doing this for a while, but over the pandemic, she really just decided to go hard and she, she went on this creative streak. And so she has like an amazing body of work. Like I said, I, I had to jump in on this. And so she, she put paintings up for sale and I saw one that really spoke to me and I decided to go for it. And I will show it to you, but first I need to take my walk for the day. You know I like art, and I've always wanted to just kind of like, you know, buy art to decorate the apartment, and I like to support my friends, so it's just like, if my friends are creating this amazing art, why not buy their art, support them, then I have this beautiful art on display in the apartment. It's a win-win. I feel like most of the places I've lived haven't, they don't give me a sense of permanence, like even my current place. I'm talking about leaving <laughs> when my lease is up and it sucks to put everything together to get the, the apartment the way that you want it. Just to know that in like seven months, you're gonna have to pack that shit up and find somewhere else to put it. You know, when I think about art, I think about, you know, like my friends who have a great appreciation for art. You know, like my friend Hosanna, she's very much into the arts and her children are super talented, creative. She has one daughter that's just an amazing artist. She can draw and animate and it's uh, just phenomenal. <laughs> and then my friend Jazz, who passed away last year, she was also like a massive patron of like artists. She would always discover and support artists. And she was always, you know, just always encouraged us. She just like, buy art, <laughs> buy art and appreciate it. If you're wondering, no, no, I do not have my mask with me. I mean, at this point I'm fully vaccinated and there's no one around me. I mean, there are people who are sitting in their cars because that's what people do is they come to the park and they sit in their cars and their trucks, maybe smoke a little weed, but no one around me. So it is what it is. I am raw dog in the air right now and it feels great. <laughs> So a few moments ago, just passed an, an older older woman and we just started talking. <laughs> and I felt a little bad because, you know, I don't have my mask and she was masked up. But we were talking and we just, just talked about a lot of things actually in like a short kind of like span. But at the end of our conversation, she's just like, don't you miss this? Don't you miss just being able to, to walk up to someone and to talk to them? I was like, yeah. <laughs> actually for as much as i hate people <laughs> i do like people and i do miss just like those kind of like random interactions it was nice it was cool very cool this ladies and gentlemen is sophie this is an acrylic paint piece it's 20 by 10 inches. And yeah, you know, uh, when Nelly posted this, I mean, as soon as I saw it, I was just like, that's, that's the one. <laughs> I just liked everything, you know, the color scheme and the way Sophie looked. And, you know, I love the fact that her dress has pockets. That's very much a thing for Nelly the Great. She loves dresses with pockets. <laughs> I'll put her information in the description below so that you can check out her Etsy store, you know, see what else that she's got for sale. And if you'd like to support, please do.